Hey everybody and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Faya on the left and Maui on the right. Faya flying Hef, Nora, and Wedge, three ship rebels. Maui flying Oiken, Duchess, and Sunterfell. Um, this is a bounty match. Ma uh, Maui's trying to collect on that um, Sienna Ree bounty. V easier said than done. Sienna Ree is definitely one of the tougher cards that we've had a bounty on. Tough to plan uh, on its use. We, In the one match that we've seen Sienna Ree, actually we saw it once in a bomber list, that's right. In the second list that we saw Sienna Ree used in, uh, it was used with Duchess, and I think that is the best use of Sienna Ree. Um, but we'll see. I think Maui's pretty good at planning out these sort of advanced maneuvers of moving up, coordinating, barrel rolling, 90 degree turning, blue maneuvering, that sort of thing. And then also with Dutch's, uh, Dutch, Duchess's, uh, ailerons. I think Sinterfell's a good shout for Sienna Ree as well. I think the first time I ever saw Sienna Ree very early on in 2.0, it was... A Lambda with Sienna Ree and then it, um, generic TIE Interceptors. And I think the reason you do that is because there's such blue on an Interceptor dial. Um, you have much more freedom to do that 90 degrees, that 90 degree turn, take your stress, and then you've got a lot of ways to get rid of it. Not to mention you... Uh, with a ship that only has let's say a barrel roll, like the striker. Um, once you do your blue maneuver and relieve the stress, you have no more ways of repositioning because you did your barrel roll from the coordinate. The interceptor still has a boost available, so you do have a little bit of a, you know, maybe I can get a little, get out of jail free almost reposition just a little bit more in case things were really bad. Alright, back to dials we go. So Oiken opted to focus. I feel like a... Uh, an arc turn would have been the, the right call there. But Fi did opt to go pretty slow with his rebels. So not a huge threat to Oiken right now. Alright. Crocs lay up pretty early here. This for a too hard turn on Hef. Thinking about maybe a uh, coordinate. That stuff is gone from last turn. Timo says, what you usually do not want to do with Sunter, if you're a first player, is attack on the flank where the enemy wedge is. Hope you did a two straight or a two to three bank with Sunter, Phil. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Maui is first player. So Sunterfell will be moving before Wedge. Three hard from Nora. And because of Leia, that is white. Does have a red barrel roll if he really wants to get over here. But I don't think he does. Oh, he's looking at it. 
Just takes the focus. Alright, what is Sunterfell doing? Ooh, three hard. <laughs> Timo says anything but the three hard in the chat. Nope. He's going in for it. Now he's got to prepare for next turn. Do you... Okay, he barrel rolls to the right. Gives him a good out next turn if he wants to run. Alright, wedge. Three hard. Ends up on the gas cloud, so not able to pursue. Wings are open. Alright, so that should start us off. Sunterfell gets to shoot first. Don't think he's got anything. Nope. Which means Wedge doesn't have anything. Alright, Duchess. Range 3 into Nora. Actually, Wedge has swarm tactics. He could bring Nora up, but I don't think she has a shot either. Yeah, so he brings everybody up to PS6. And nobody else has shots. Alright, so range 3 from Duchess. Doesn't look like it's obstructed. Two focus and a hit. He's going to spend it for three. So one of those is going through. Blank and a focus. Spent, needs to spend it. Take two. Yeah. Ooh, Oiken. He's got that range three into Nora. One hit, two blanks. All right, back to dials we go. I'm really committed to Scaring off Sunterfell here. Um, does he have? I mean, he can one hard turn Nora, right? That's a that's a thing the art can do. I think it's red. Nope. Too hard. Well, I think I lost a. Uh... No, I didn't. Um, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, it's like two hards, the order of the day. I mean, Duchess is kind of out here in the middle, too. Could just one bank barrel roll try and get some gas coverage, maybe? Uh, 
Uh, we get one charge back on Leia. Too hard from Hef. Oh boy, does that fit? Sure does. Wow, look at these medium bases. Getting in smooching distance. Takes a focus. Alright. Oiken. PS3, where are you going, buddy? Four forward. Does he bump? Yes, he does! He gets the bump on Hef. Now, Hef is going to get an action. But it's not going to protect him. Uh, yeah, Hef is going to coordinate... to wedge, hopefully just give him a focus. Uh, uh do you? His is after you execute maneuver. Yours is in action. Uh, so, um, the, I was trying to figure out who who goes first in this instance. Um, Dauntless, after you partially execute a maneuver, which he did, and then Hef, after an enemy ship executes a maneuver, if it is at range zero. So, uh, I guess it goes... Maui's saying it goes to first player. So, Oiken is coordinating a focus to Duchess. And Hef is coordinating to Nora. Who takes a target lock on Duchess. And Maui is seeing those proton torpedoes. So, uh, uh, Duchess, one forward. That's not a great place if you think Nora is going to hard turn in here. You might be at range one. Roll Duchess left. Maybe. Or, well, you could evade, but you've only got two evade dice. Yep, goes for the evade. Oh! Oh my god, did that fit? Oh, it does! <laughs> wow. So, Nora, range one. Focus, target locked. It's gonna be a four dice attack into Duchess. Man, Duchess today. Ooh, may not be doing too well. Um, two forward from Sunterfell. Could barrel roll to get the. Ooh, but you got wedge. Goes for the evade. Edge is going to come rock you like a hurricane.
Oh, the disengage from Wedge. Oh no, Faya did the wrong direction on the dial. We'll see if Maui lets him take that back. Yeah. Look, you know, there's no reason Wedge is disengaging. He definitely meant to go this direction. So, Maui, nice guy. Probably wants the Rebels to win anyway. We're going to see a barrel roll out of Wedge, I imagine. Fai saying he wants to roll, but he could also maybe take shots into Duchess with all of the ships. He's saying, I want to roll, but I won't. Okay. All right, Sunterfell gets the focus. Oh, you know what? Maybe he wanted to get PS6 to Nora. I think that still would have would have traveled. All right, everybody's at PS6 now. All right, Maui's got some thinking to do. He gets to shoot first. He's got a Predator into Nora, but she's going to get a free evade. He's got Predator into Hef, who Oiken is also going to shoot. I think you, yeah, I think you kind of shoot everybody into Hef. Oh, Wedge is here, though. Range 1. Oh, okay. You know what? There is a lot to consider. 4v2 with a focus. 3v1 with a free evade. He's going to go into Wedge. Three hits. No Predator. Not in the bullseye. Wedge. Blanks out, no heroic. Takes two shields and a hull, and that is a half point wedge. 34 points on the board for Maui. Alright, now the PS6s of Faya. All of his ships gonna shoot. I'd probably shoot Hef first because he only has one shot and then if somehow Duchess is gone then you shoot Nora into Oiken and maybe Wedge yep he's gonna do Hef first range two That's not the way you wanted to start. <laughs> All right. Ooh, equally disappointing. One hit. Or two hits, sorry, this is a four dice attack. Uh, target locks into hit, hit, crit. One evade. Spends his... F no, I think you spend the evade, right? Well, the crit's going through no matter what. Spends the focus, okay. Takes the crit on Duchess. Weapons failure? Structural damage.
Uh, that's not what you want from Wedge. <laughs> I think he still gets the obstruction, right? Zero, minus one, zero, plus one for the obstruction. Oh, unless it's not obstructed. I think uh, Alex is trying to remind me of things. Yeah, I think it's unobstructed. Oof. Is this a torp? Four dice, so it must be. Oh boy. Yep, all of it goes through on Duchess. And today's, like, destruction of Duchess continues. Wow. And that's at PS6, so she doesn't even get to engage. Oiken, gonna get that bump shot, though. That was Proton Torp from Wedge, so he's down to one. Oiken. Four dice into half, who gets one evade dice. I think Oiken... Oh no, he's gonna shoot into Nora. Maybe he's, he saw two shields off Nora. Maybe he was wanting. Um, yeah, maybe he thought he could get half points on Nora. Or maybe he wanted to get rid of... Well, he couldn't get rid of Leia that round. Well, Oiken is pretty much untouched, but he has also not done anything to anyone, really. Um, Wedge... Wedge is half points. He's got three left. Nora has nine. So I think five damage, right? She needs three more damage to be half points. Hmm. So do you turn Oiken in? Well, there's not gonna be... Oiken's gonna move 
after the U-Wing, but before Nora and Wedge. Do you two bank Soonterfell? Oh man, he would just K-turn Wedge. I think he should do that anyway. See, Leia is up to two. Can't use her this round. Wouldn't matter anyway if you go over the gas cloud. All right, three four from Hef. Probably going to coordinate. Going for that coordinate. It looks like Nor is the only thing in range. Goes for a focus, which tells me she's probably not. Well, she's not K turning. Because otherwise, you'd do a target lock. Well, that doesn't really make sense. The one bank bumps. Yep, takes a stress with, um, Dauntless to take a focus. <laughs> Two forward from Nora, who might take a lock here. Yep. <clears throat> Into Sunter Fell. Interesting. Two forward from Sunter Fell. Relieves the stress. Probably needs to evade here. He should be able to survive a two dice back attack from Nora. Yep, Wedge with the 4K. Does he catch a piece of Hef? He sure does, range two into Hef. Don't think he's gonna spin that focus. There are two arcs trained on him right now. There's one evade. Wedge is going to start us off here. Three dice, two hits. And the gas cloud 
gives him two. All right, Nora. Into Sunterfell. I would probably check to see if you can. Yeah, no, there's definitely an unobstructed shot there. And that is range two. That's two blanks. so that we don't get dice mixed up. He opts not to spin the lock. All right, Oiken. Takes two on Hef, or yeah, just two. There we go. And still untouched, yeah. Uh, and Pred uh, Sunterfell didn't take anything, so that was just damage into the rebels that round. So that was definitely better for Maui. 34 to 44. Wow, that's a lot closer than you'd think. Um, Sunterfell has a nice, leisurely, hard turn awaiting him, probably. Card real quick, objects, saved objects. So the problem, Oiken, one, is stressed, and two, is moving away from the things he wants to shoot at. So it's going to be a while before he can get into that range one bumping mode. Let's take a look at uh, Nora here. Enemy ship at range 0 to 1. So if, even if Oiken bumps Nora, she still gets her free, uh, free evade. All right, Leia gets procced. I didn't even get time to uh, recharge it. Hef does a 0, flips those wings closed, and is going to turn around.
All right, so the U-Wing flips. Going to go for a lock on Sunterfell. And I got to imagine Maui's happy about that. Like, he can run, he can dodge with Sunterfell. Can't do that so much with Oiken. If, if these rebels opted to light Oiken up, they could take him down in two turns or so. Then again, if they get a good shot on Sutrafell, they can one-shot him. One bank, relieves the stress, goes for a coordinate onto Sutrafell, who is not stressed. And is looking at a barrel roll to the left and backwards. Just gotta make sure he doesn't want that after he moves. Ooh, is he gonna see an re? He did it! He used Sienna Re. Let's see how it does for him. <laughs> 4K out of um, Nora. Does not go over the rock. Wow, wow, wow. Takes a focus. No prob. Goes for a two forward. Just parks on that rock. Let's see, does Hef still have Arc? Hey, he blocks Wedge. Wedge gives Sunterfell the focus. Alright, Sunterfell gonna shoot... Well, the only target he's got, Nora. Range three, looks obstructed, no predator. A wedge looking to uh, hand that PS6 off, but can't get it. Hit. It is obstructed, so he's not going to spend that focus. So one plus range plus obstruction is three for Nora. She gets to evade, so Sutrafell, glad he did not spend that focus. Nora going to get to shoot back. Be three v. Three, four, five. All right, range two from Wedge into Oiken, who doesn't even care about Wedge's ability, he's got zero. And he's ready to just take some shields off. That's one of the most freeing things about flying a Decimator. Anytime somebody takes dice out, you just go pick up your whole damage deck and hover above your ship cards. And you just say, you tell me how much. I'm here with this damage. You tell me how much damage you put on there. Bling, bling, bling. I'm not even going to worry about dice. can't have dice variants if you're not rolling any dice. Oh, Nora has torpedoes. I forgot about that. If 
focuses. Three hits and a crit. So no range bonus because of the munitions, so just four dice. That's a dead Sunterfell. All right, Maui calls it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that was so tough. Wow, 34. We're gonna go ahead and take that off to 200. That was huge. Whoo! I wonder. Okay, we'll talk about that later. But thanks everybody for watching. Uh, thanks to the players for playing. That's gonna do it for this bounty match. Till next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming signing off.